Hi guys, my biology exam is in less than a week. When I go into the exam hall, yes, I'm going to be stressed, I'm going to be nervous because this exam I mean, it doesn't shape your future, but it's what it determines how everything has been the five years of school, how well you've done the whole five years. And my motto is I don't want to like put so much effort in for the whole five years and then not get what I deserve. Currently sitting here trying to do some biology. I'm doing diffusion. I've actually gone over so much in biology. I think I'm pretty strong in it. I have so much on my wall, like everything, everywhere I'm... I'm prepared for biology, I believe. Chemistry, not so much. Physics, not so much. History, not so much. English is next week, I'm fine with that. It's just, the ones that are soon, like, the closest, I'm okay with. And I, I'll be fine. Um, I've just got to go over diffusion and photosynthesis. So it is Saturday, the 14th of May today, and my GCSEs start next week. So, as you may have guessed, it is a day for revision I will be doing I'll be squeezing in as much as possible really I have a little to-do list um, of everything that I want to do today so I want to do French module 2 biology diffusion biology photosynthesis biology past paper Anglo-Saxons and like after 1066 because I'm kind of fine with the beforehand but like after is a bit confusing and then English tense work because that is like the main thing that I don't know the thing is when I'm writing I feel like I'm staying in the same tense but when you read it back it's not. For French I'm going on memorize to do some vocab recap. Science I go on my GCSE science. Um, my school gave me like well gave everyone in my school like um they paid to come on here and it's actually really good I'm really trying to get these all green. So because I'm now staying on at my school sixth form obviously I had to choose A levels which is scary but I thought I'd just, I don't know if I've told you what I chose, but I might as well just say it again. So I chose psychology, 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 childcare and health and social. I obviously did health and social. That's my favorite subject. We all know. I got a distinction by the way, guys, in that. So on my exam, I got a merit. And then on with my coursework combined, I got a distinction overall. I say this now, it probably will be very stressful because A-levels sound really stressful. But I feel like if you like the subject, it won't be as stressful as doing something. For instance, like if I did history, that would make me want to cry every single day. It's essay based. It's a lot, you know. But someone will like history and will take interest in that and find it interesting. But I feel like what I chose... I'm interested in it, so it should be better. Everyone, it's Tuesday, and I did my biology paper one today, GCSE, and I'm just gonna talk to you about it. Um, I'm also gonna make a TikTok talking about it. I just need to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, I did AQA, Biology, I think it's combined science I do and biology, yeah. But <laughs> it went actually okay. When I was in there, like science is not my strongest point, so I've really focused on revising for it. Like I've revised quite a bit of the advanced information. Don't get me wrong, I, I know some of the other stuff because I did slightly touch it when I was revising, but I did it based upon what were the main focuses, main focuses on the paper and I open the paper and the first question is on B3 we did not get told to revise that but it's fine because I knew about it okay it was it was like a page maybe two um on it and I thought you know what at this point just allow it like the rest of the paper is going to be all the stuff that I know there is a whole free four page section on like skin cancer and don't give it they told us to look at cancer right but like it was data and you had to interpret the data twice like, that's nothing that we learn. It was just telling us to keep interpreting this data. I'm like, please, just leave me alone. 
there was like two sets of questions that wanted you to interpret data and they, those are the ones that I found the most difficult because you can't explain yourself you know you have to get precise answers about what's on the there was even there was three of them you had to interpret honestly too much too much but what I take away from this is that do not trust the advanced information because it lies to you hi guys so it is Thursday and I forgot to update you yesterday um, after my English however it was my birthday so I was kind of celebrating and didn't really think to do it but I'm gonna let you know now how the English went this was English paper one AQA and um, the extract it was pretty good in the sense it was intrigued like it caught my interest basically and I, I'm glad it wasn't really boring very sparse amounts of um, language techniques I feel like I was fine with the structure, I just think I did talk about quite a few things for the language but compared to some of the past papers I've done that clearly shows that they've squeezed in language techniques whenever possible the more, it was more like spaced out The question 4 was actually incredible, the statement it gave you about um, you know the statement was good, I'm not going to go into too much detail because some people wouldn't have done that paper but yeah it the statement was so good it really did um, make up for the lack of everything else. did the story and it was like a life something rescue, life changing rescue. That is probably like quite a bad prompt and it was write a whole story as well. It's quite a bad prompt because it was so like specific. Specific. Oh my gosh. You had to write about this rescue like it's not like you know an unexpected event like an unexpected event could be anything like you could write about anything because that's up unexpected but with a rescue like you had to talk about you know someone had to either be in a situation they were in danger or weren't doing too well hi it's the 22nd of may and i finish school tomorrow that will be my last day of secondary school and I honestly don't even know how to think about it, like feel about it because like obviously I'm going back for exams so it's not like a, it is an official leave because like after tomorrow like I've got no more lessons with any of my teachers, like I will just be there for the exams and it's kind of weird to even like process that because the last like five years of my life has been working up to this moment. For my teachers I have got them all names, a card and then a Lindor bar on it because like surely surely people like Lindor you know what I mean um, and also it's been a running run it's been a running joke on my lunch table that one day I'll bring in Joe nuts uh, which are the Jaffa Cake donuts so I went out my way to buy them today <laughs> like I actually think they're gonna be genuinely like wrong but I wanted to try them <sighs> Hi everyone, so it is Monday the 23rd of May and today was my last day of school, secondary school ever, obviously I'm going back for my exams and stuff like that but I've got to be honest, it was literally the most anticlimactic thing ever, like you think about your last day like you know, over over the years you'll think about your last day being the most fun, like you'll say goodbye to most recent, like the most predominant reason why I'm so like upset is just because I left it at such like it was so it wasn't closed off as such it wasn't like a big like this is the end closed it off like it's it's literally it was probably like if I was to put my standards to be low that was what I would think about so basically all that really happened was there was a geography exam in the morning which I didn't do so well done to everyone that had to do that um and then, but everyone still had to go to lessons until third lesson, which no one really cared that much. Like, everyone was bored, you know? And then they were still trying to teach you, so they were angry when you weren't listening. Um, and then, after third lesson, we went to eat. When we went in to eat, we got screamed at again, because we were being too loud. But, like, if you just shut up, you know, it wouldn't be a problem. You know what I mean? Like, w where's the issue? Literally, you're gonna get rid of us anyway, tomorrow. Like, you don't need to shower us. Anyway, that's irrelevant. 
God, some people are just in a bad mood all the time and I just wonder why? Like, what possessed you to be that annoyed at people? Hello, so it is the morning of my RE exam. So it is 10.38 and my exam starts at 1.30, so I've got a little while. Um, but yeah, in RE, my school does a half GCSE, so you kind of, like, whatever grade you get, it's not counted as a whole one. Um, it's counted as half because you do less stuff for the exam or something like that. But yeah, I know quite a few quotes. I know everything in it. So I should be all right. Okay, I can give you a proper prediction now because I have all the topics in front of me. So for relationship and family, sexuality, I really hope will come up. I really hope it's the big 12 marker. Um, but, 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 I think gender equality, I feel like that's gonna be the, I think that's gonna be the big one. Because I don't think it's been a big one on any past paper I've done. I don't think it's going to be divorce because that was on a past paper. I would really, really, really like it to be um, sexuality or same-sex marriage, something about that. Be peace and conflict. I think, I don't think just war, I don't think it's just going to be just war in the last question. I feel like it's going to have something that you can talk about the just war, but it's not going to be exactly that. Um, I have, I had a really big feeling that it was going to be something to do with like, terrorism or protests something about that hi guys oh my god i look bored okay um so it is 4 12 i finished my exam i think it was like 3 23 yeah i think that was the time but it went so good however there was like overall it went good there were some questions that were a little bit like Ugh, but it went good my predictions were not correct <laughs> but weirdly the whole of the relationships section in the themes bit was all on a past paper that I had done. Like, all the same, but like different wording. So for example, on my past paper I did, uh, which was from like 2020, I think, or the, like one of one of the recent past papers, um, the 12 question, 12 marker question was about divorce. So I thought that's not gonna come up, but it did because on the past paper, it was like divorce is never right. But on my paper, it said religious believers should never get divorced. So it's kind of the same thing. All I had to mention was about religious believers. Um, there was a question on the role of parents that came up in my past paper. And I know it's because there's not really a lot to change when it comes to um, the themes because there's so little to talk about. But yeah, I, there was a question on same sex marriage. It was the five marker, which was good. Um, I can't even remember what the four marker, four marker was for it, but honestly, it was so good. The only problem I had was about the question oh the war and peace justice question was horrible um did take me a little while to struggle through that one i did write something at least but it's the only one i had to stop and come back to um the last question was on the um war and peace was kind of weird but i still managed to do it well um and then it was mainly the um religion like the relig the buddhist and christian 12 markers that were a bit weird because the buddhist one was better because it was about the moral precepts um, and why they're easy to follow is a weird way to set it out, but I was fine with it. Um, but then on the Christianity, it was like, how did the Trinity link to the uh, nature of God? And like, that was fine when you were arguing for it, but to argue against it was horrible. How are you meant to do that? Because it kind of does link in so many ways. So I literally had to just make something up using as many quotes as I could think of just to slip it in there. But yeah, overall it was good. I'm now waiting to do my chemistry tomorrow. And then after that, it's the half term. And, you know, I'd say it's relaxing. I will be doing so much history revision. It's unreal. But I'm glad that I will have the time to kind of forget all of the stuff that I've already done. Because it's done now. But... Now I can tr try and focus on what I really do need to learn. I'm so happy with study leave. Like I'm so happy I can literally just, it's so relaxing and it makes me in a good mood to go into the exams. Like I walk in after having like the morning, I had a good night's sleep. I've had good food. 
I've been able to revise in the morning, everything's great. And even if the exams are early in the morning, I sleep in until 7, I normally wake up at seven, no, 6.45, just because I don't need to get all my equipment ready, um, and all my books, because it's just for one exam. I can come home afterwards and relax, and then have so much time in the day to revise anything else, because I get home on average at around like 10.30, after every exam. Hi hey guys, so it is um, Friday and it is 7.36. I'm leaving to go to school in about 10 minutes because I'm gonna get there early with my friend Amy. But yeah, today is chemistry day, the one I have been really, really dreading. It's probably the worst one for me. Well, it was until recently, I realized I do know quite a bit of it. Now, I spent a whole long period of time, which I can't even remember, but I definitely did it because I remember every single time I had to revise something, I would choose chemistry. And now I know pretty much all of it. <laughs> honestly, honestly, what was that? What was that higher chemistry paper one? What was it? Oh my gosh, like I'm over it. Like, after it finished, like, in the, right at the end of the exam, I was really stressed. I literally thought, you know, I didn't, I wasn't going to cry, but I literally thought, like, so stressed and so annoyed at myself for not knowing it. But now I'm just over it because, like, I just hate, okay? So, if the questions were worded better or, like, easier to understand, trust me, I would have got probably ten, ten times more marks than I probably had. Right. Here's my issue with it. Every single question was worded in a way that you kind of know what you're talking about, but also at the same time, you don't know what they're asking. Like there was a question about moles. Did it mention moles? No. You Did you kind of come up with the idea that it could be about moles? Yes. All of the equations, all of the six mark equation, I think there was a six mark and a four mark. I couldn't complete them. I just had to write down as much as I possibly could to like come up with something you know and then I thought oh it's like the one about breaking bonds with the table I can do this one then it tells me something about oh there's 56 more and something else and then there's an x that you need to figure out just let me have an easy question for once we got straight into the exam with a free mark question straight in the first question made me think oh I'm over I'm literally over half time now I'm gonna forget about it but I just hope chemistry paper 2 is much nicer than that because I'm not doing that again I'm not going through that again oh gosh hello it is Saturday and um, I have to do some history revision so I've been out had a milkshake with my nan and brother but I have to do history and physics work today however it is the start of the holiday so I have quite a bit of time obviously I do want to do stuff every single day but yeah Right now, I'm recycling some... Oh, there's a tissue. I'm recycling some paper. So I've tried it with, like, all my old, like, extracts and stuff from school. Like, English. Paper one, because I'm done with it. I made this sheet of paper out of, like, ten of them. Um, and I think I'm going to do some art on it to make it worth it, because it is quite thick as well. And it was my first attempt at trying to make something, you know, out of it. Because I don't want to just throw it away. Um... But yeah, I'm going to try it again, better. Let's see how it works. So that is actually the end of the video. So in this video, I vlogged, I think, about two weeks of exams. Yeah, two weeks of exams. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, obviously, I am today's Monday, so it's the start of the next set of exams. So I have three weeks until I'm completely finished with them all. I may film in this time period. If I do film, it'll be more of, like, me studying, um... But yeah, obviously I want to document as much as possible. The next video that will be coming out is a singing video where I took 15 minutes to make a song, which is really exciting. And I really like the outcome, so hopefully you're excited to see that too. It'll be coming out next Monday, I believe. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please do consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that. Um, also, go check out all my social medias. They will all be linked down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.